to manage the Peter Beadle on an afternoon that seemed to be quite a fractious affair. Is that how you saw it? Uh, no, I think it got towards the end. It started to get a little bit towards the end because they're hanging on and we're trying to obviously score a winner. So it's always going to be like that. But I thought, I thought we were really good today. I thought we were really good. We had a funny 10 minutes uh, just around the goal for their goal. But, I mean, like I said, second half, we are in total control of the game. You never saw them getting into it. And they didn't get into it even after the goal. And as we said last week, we've just got this knack at the minute of giving away really soft goals. And, you know, both goals today we looked at again and we've said the soft and especially the second one. First one, I think, was a little bit of lapsing concentration. Long throw, he wasn't ready for it. I think Joel could have let it go for a goal kick. He tried Instead, he tried to clear it out, went for a throw in, and then we didn't deal with the second long throw. And then obviously Alex makes a decision which you have to trust him with. He makes a decision to come, he thinks he can get it and he gets nowhere near it. My advice would be let your defenders, if they're there, deal with it. But like I said, you can't knock him for that. That's what he wanted to, what he felt was the right decision. And, and we've got caught out from it. And outside of that, you know, they've, not, they've not troubled us at all again. So, you know, but we, it wasn't an easy performance. It wasn't easy to play on the pitch again. But we, I thought the lads were brilliant today. I really, I really thought they, you know, they really, you know, acquitted themselves really well on the pitch and 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 with the with the, with the way the game went. And like I said, we got our noses in front. We just needed that third one. It looked a really clear cut penalty when uh, Oates was wiped out. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what was the referee? Sort of very strange. I don't. I sort think of the indication that it was a penalty. Nobody seemed to know what was going I think, on. I think that's the the one word you can sum the referee up with today. It was str- very strange. I think uh, some of his decisions today were, you know, were, were interesting to say the least. I mean, like I said, he, you know, the nines committed a foul. He's been booked. He's then committed another one. Nothing happens. Then he goes through Ryan late. Never gets another one. Then he runs in front of the keeper, which you're not allowed to do, which is a yellow card. He gets another one, and, and still nothing happens. So you know, and not that we want players sent off, but obviously when you're playing against ten men, it, especially the way we were playing second half, it would have made it a little bit easier for us. So and, and just some of his general decision making, I thought was was a little bit all over the place. But we can't worry about that because I thought we did enough to win the game again, and uh, and we haven't. But we've we've hung in there and just to the boys in there. Although it, to them, it, they just said it feels like a loss. But it's nice another point on the board, and we keep going. And we got a home game Saturday, and we and if we perform in the manner we have done today with a little bit more quality, then we'll be fine. What exactly happened at the end with Mike Simmons and, and the goalkeeper? I just spoke to Mike about it because obviously it's not like Mike. I've never seen Mike like that before. So um, he said that when the, when he went down, um, he was down for a couple of seconds. He went to get up and the keeper walked over him and sort of caught him with his leg, knee, shin in, in Mike's head. As he, he said, he didn't have to walk over me. He could have walked around me. He said, he didn't have to walk over me. He said, you know, so that, which is why Mike lost it a little bit. So that's what Mike says. But like I said, referee hasn't taken any action. No one saw it. So we just, just get on with it. Is it disappointing to consecutive 2-2 draws? Saturday was more disappointing. Last week was more disappointing because of the way we played and I think the performance that we had. I think today was a little bit different in the fact that we've totally dominated the game um, and and we've we've been sucker punched a little bit with a with a soft goal. Um, but I couldn't ask any more of the players, so it, it doesn't it doesn't feel you know it's not it's not hugely disappointing the fact that I'm disappointed about the performance. It's more about the fact we've dropped a couple of points. Um, but everyone has a run through the season. We've not had one yet, but we've had two back-to-back draws. One game we didn't play particularly well in today. I thought we played much better today on a really difficult pitch. <laughs> really difficult pitch. And the lads acquitted themselves brilliantly. And the lads, I thought, were fantastic today. Perfect effort, you know, perfect performance. We just, we've just been caught out by, by a little bit of lapse of concentration or, or a misjudgment of, of a situation. Thanks for your time. No problem.